Um, I'm going to start this off with there is no balance. <laughs> it's chaos. No, I'm, I'm only kidding. Um, when it comes to finding a balance between your personal and your work life, it is a constant struggle because you're trying to manage two different lives. And I, and I see it that way, and I, I think most do as well. Uh, you just need to understand that it's about time management, patience, and understanding, and that you have to be kind in everything you do because um, a lot of the times when we try to find that balance, we end up hurting others in our life. So I think that is something that everybody needs to work towards in finding that balance. And for me, that is what I use to um, balance those two. I manage my time and I lean on the people in my life if I need to, as well as my circle, which is why we've opened our circle. So in our, our circle is open to anybody who wants to join it as well. Yeah, so, you know, some similar thoughts. I mean, I would say that first off, you know, I think it's so important to recognize that there are always going to be cyclical times when, you know, balance is just not going to be possible, right? And I would challenge that, you know, recognizing that is, you know, in and of itself, that's a piece of finding balance. And so for me, I mean, you know, this has looked very different for me at different stages of my life. So balancing my career and my personal life when my son was young, I mean, that had an entirely different look and feel and flavor than, you know, what that looks like now. But at this juncture in my life, the strategy that I personally use is I found this kind of combo planner journal that I discovered. And what I love is it has designated space in it for capturing, you know, what am I doing to work on my relationships? What am I doing to work on my passion projects? And so developing some time to just checking in on those goals a couple of times a week. I mean, you know, I do it over a cup of coffee. It helps keep me centered. And it, what it really does is it helps keep me from putting on the back burner things that are going to bring me joy. So when I'm, you know, nurturing all of those facets, that's when I'm going to feel the most balance in my life. And again, things are always going to, you know, kind of have their ebbs and flows. But, you know, when I can do that, that's when it's going to allow you know, the best version of me to show up everywhere. It can be difficult. I think a lot of it is you've got to take care of your whole self. So not just your physical, which I use exercise. I also have found a physical hobby, tennis, which is a lot of fun for me. And it helps me kind of release some of those endorphins that I need to release. I also... You know, I think it's important to take care of your mind to stay grounded. So I found meditation and there are so many different meditation apps that you can use. And it was hard to begin with because I like to move around and I don't sit still very often. So I had to work myself up to it. But, you know, holding myself accountable for doing those meditations and doing those in the morning to jumpstart my day has really helped me focus on what I want my day to look like and putting those things into practice. Um, so those are some of the ways that I've helped myself stay a little bit more grounded and just being empathetic with those that I work with day in, day out and with my family, kind of putting myself in their shoes. So the ways that I stay grounded, and it kind of ties into the last question as well, um, I use my patience and my gratitude a lot. And I, I think most of the people who know me that I'm I'm a very spoken person when it comes to my gratitude to people. I like to tell them I appreciate them and I respect them when they um, do certain things for for me or in my life um, because we do need to appreciate those little moments and that is something that helps me stay grounded when it comes to my son and when it comes to me I say I always tell him you need to take a deep breath and just shake it off and then get back to what you were doing and sometimes we all need to do that and just take a moment take that break cord from what we were doing take a moment to refocus ourselves and I think that is the core to what keeps me grounded. Well, I, just like Carrie, um, I just believe that you should start your day off right. And however you want to do it is either get quiet, say your prayers, say your meditation in the morning and kind of visualize how you want your day to go. Um, it kind of goes along with the manifestation of how you really want things to flow. And, you, you know, I try to visualize and get quiet and just plan my day out in my head. You know, sometimes it goes right, sometimes it goes wrong, but you have that feeling that you're in control and you're in peace and you can manage your time when you start that time off in the morning, quiet um, and not rushed. 
I think that every time I get rushed in the morning, you know, things just don't go right at all. So, you know, take that one to two minutes, take the deep breaths and keep going. Um, also, I'd like to stay grounded by using good counsel, uh, professionally and personally. You have those times where you do need to have people around you that can kind of bring you down from the clouds at times. And, and I do think that it's good counsel. <laughs> you know, you don't need to have the negative people around there, um, around you telling you negative things. You need to have people telling you positive things, telling you the truth and to help you and to have your support team available at all times. Mm -hmm.